this is James with Isotropic and in this quick video I'm going to be addressing how you can defer both JavaScript and CSS very easily on an Elementor website. So there are two tools that I'm going to be using here. The first one is Asset Cleanup Pro and the second one is WordPress Rocket. So Asset Cleanup Pro allows you to go in and directly address individual scripts and CSS files uh, on specific web, web pages and specific post types. Uh, you can also use this to focus on plugins, stuff like that. This is a very, very uh, versatile plugin that we use in all of our websites to make uh, them a lot faster and a lot quicker to load. And Elementor is known to have a lot of bloat, and this will really help you. Then we're going to use WordPress Rocket, which is a caching plugin, but it's also a performance optimization plugin, uh, and it will allow you to defer site-wide JavaScript and CSS at the click of a button. So really quickly uh, we are in our dashboard and we are on the WordPress rocket plugin uh, and this is the main uh, file optimization tab of WordPress rocket if we go here we can see that we can optimize a lot of individual things and if you're trying to do speed for uh, Elementor and you're running this through page speed or Google uh, or GT metrics Google page speed or GT metrics uh, you might see that they want you to minify CSS, minify HTML, you can do that here. All you need to do is click the button. But specifically for JavaScript, you can do all of this, but if you want to load it deferred, and this is very good because it eliminates render blocking JavaScript, all you have to do is click this. And then also note that uh, jQuery is usually in safe mode because uh, if you site-wide defer JavaScript, jQuery gets wrapped up in that and it can be problematic because uh, jQuery is essential to the core version of WordPress. So uh, as you can see here, it's very simple to site-wide defer JavaScript. All you need is the WordPress Rocket tool. We have it linked in the description. Uh, and then say that you want to go in and optimize the individual page a little bit more. So that's where the plugin Asset Cleanup Pro comes in. Uh, and Asset Cleanup Pro will go ahead and uh, once you've set it up here, it will go ahead and you can head into your individual page. So this is a test Elementor page and I'll show you it on the front end. It's a, just a um, basic theme with a couple of blobs that we threw in here. And it's a, it's a basic Elementor page. Under here, under Asset Cleanup Pro, you can go in and you can identify all of the individual plugin files and uh, take a look and these are all of the files that load when we load our page so these are all the Elementor files that are loading and then if we continue to scroll whatever other plugins we have on the website and whatever other themes we have on the website it will display all of the themes and the files that make up these themes from here you can identify files that are not essential to the initial loading of the page and then you can go ahead and async or defer and you can do that on this individual page or you can set it to defer everywhere so if you don't want this individual JavaScript file to load and instead you want to defer it or load it asynchronously you can do that by simply checking this link off and this is a very well designed tool and it will identify if there are potential issues like it just did now and it will tell you but that's a very simple way that you can easily defer the loading and uh, load asynchronously JavaScript files on an Elementor website. Uh, and you might want to play around and ensure that this won't break your website. We don't usually mess around with the actual uh, files that make up Elementor. But when there are third-party plugins that aren't required to load the page, we'll go in and we'll use this tool to individually uh, optimize the loading of those assets for the website. So again, linked in the description, we have a link to Asset Cleanup Pro and we have a link to WordPress Rocket. Uh, pricing for Asset Cleanup is 39. Pricing for WordPress Rocket is 40, 49, I believe. Uh, and if you are only looking to spend the least amount of money possible, the best way you can speed up your Elementor website is by going ahead and purchasing WordPress Rocket, $49. Uh, and the reason we say that is because it has a ton of speed optimization things that directly impact the opportunities 
in your Google PageSpeed report. So hope that video answered the question uh, and drop a like and subscription if uh, this was useful to you.